Oh yes, all of you, was nothing but over here at Kiswa Police. Remember, Kiswa Police is the home for entrepreneurs who are located here in Koma, Boga, Okumukaga, along Gaza Road. Yes, you people, we want to thank you very much for subscribing to our YouTube channel and for the love you have shown to Kisa Projects. Indeed, you have made us great on this. On, you have made us great on this African continent, and we promise not to stop serving you with great services and proven ideas in the course of manufacturing or in entrepreneurship. Remember, our major role is to make Africa strong in industrialization, and since 2016, we shall not stop up to date we are still running and until we see you all guys successful in your ventures or in your course of entrepreneurship we are still serving you with great great ideas and proven or satisfied manufacturing processes and sciences and techniques and granting you better machines at a cheap price in the line of manufacturing However, today I'm basically here to talk about school chalk manufacturing using a Kisa Projects IMM chalk machine or a Kisa Projects gun metal machine that produces 800 chalk sticks per 10 minutes. And another thing I want to show you how to effectively put this machine under use for a long period of time. Remember, these machines are manual, so I don't think that you can take it today and you end up losing it or misusing it or you end up or you end up make a machine misfunction in a short period of time meaning these machines are highly durable the extent that you can use it to a period of over 10 min 10 years and the machine will still be working in good condition let me talk less and i do more of the actions so let us just jump onto the machine and I show you how to effectively put it under use or how to use it to manufacture high quality dustless school chalk. However, I want to send this video specially to one special guy in Congo whose name I'm forgetting, but this guy had some few challenges on using this type of machine, the IMM chalk machine of 800 chalk sticks. However, those challenges were evolving due to the fake formula that person was using, probably from the people who trained him initially in the course of manufacturing chalk. So they ended up giving him a wrong concoction of chemicals that should be used to manufacture chalk. So he ended up coming out with poor quality chalk sticks and on the same time, he ended up spoiling the machine that is meant to manufacture high quality school chalk. How do you have to do things right? Just come here at Kesa Projects for training. Well, our entire training fee for school chalk production is going to shilling is 100,000. We have supplied these machines to over 54 African countries and all people using them all over Africa. They are so, so grateful of our machines, on, of our population. They are earning big in their ventures. You are the next person to be like them. Just come here at Kesa Projects for training. Well, our entire training fee for school chalk production is Ghana shillings 100,000. You can as well take it online. You just pay a fee of Ghana shillings. You just pay a fee of 45 US dollar and we forward to you a video tutorial training link with a e book or a e manual that will help you proceed with your trainings in a crucial way and with facts about high quality school chalk production. Just keep watching. Have a look on how things should be done. Right, I remain Nathan Matov here at Kisa Projects until infinity. We are not stopping to empower you people. We are a home for entrepreneurs based here in Komamboga Okumukaga along Gaza Road. Keep watching, keep subscribing, keep liking, keep commenting. Don't forget to give us a call whenever you get any inquiry. We are your home for entrepreneurs and you are an African and we are here for you people. Keep watching. I'm coming back with the real action. Thank you. So whenever you're using such type of a machine, you start by lubricating the machine. You have here our concoction of lubricating or you want to understand the concoction without lubricating or you have to join Kisa projects for training. So here I have my lubricating oil. I'm going to spread, start spreading it into the mold cavities to make them smooth inside or slippery inside for easy ejection of our chalk sticks in the time of unmolding.
So make sure you lubricate the machine thoroughly, very well, and with just sufficient lubricating oil. Don't use too much lubricating oil, don't use too less lubricating oil. If you use too much lubricating oil, it will affect the choke itself, whereby the teacher will have to first break up the tip, to break off the tip of the choke before he starts writing. The choke will become too hard at the tip because of too much lubricating oil. And if you use too less lubricating oil, it will become too hard for you to earn more. So after lubricating, after spreading the lubricant oil into the mold cavities, you have to tilt your machine upside down. The reason why you have to tilt our machine upside down is to prevent the dirty stuff like dust or anything that to fall inside the mold cavities before you mold our chalk. So I'll turn it or tilt it upside down and I lock it from here. So this is the locking point where I lock it from. You see, now it, it, it tilts, it can tilt like this. Then when I bring it back, I lock it from here. So now I've tilted it upside down. Yes, now, here I have my reagents. Yeah, here I have my concoction of the material that's going to create a chalk thare. So I have to mix it together first before adding there water. If you want to know these measurements, you have to come here at Kisa Project for training. So here I have the water. I'm going to add the water into this chalk sale, then I start mixing it and I transfer it into the mold cavities. Now, I'm using a mingling stick. I have chalk mixers that you can use for better perfection. Chalk mixers, we sell them at a few guns, For this video, allow me to use a mingling stick. So I pour water into the chalk and I start forming a chalk sale. You protect yourself with industrial gas mask and gargles to prevent yourself from being affected by those fumes that come out from the chalk sorry as you add water into it yeah so i start the mixing the mix sorry very well and in the same direction don't change the course of stirring not until the chalk sorry is ready to be molded or to be transferred into the mold cavities Now we transfer the chalk sale into the mold cavities. So you are the one from South Sudan. Are you South Sudanese or you, you are Ugandan? Um, Sudanese. This is your first time to come to Uganda. I grew in Uganda. You are Ugandan now. Yeah. Hey. You are South Sudanese by words, and the Uganda by reality. Yeah. <laughs> So after 10 minutes, check by use of your hands. You can touch on some of the samples to confirm that your chalk is strong. If it's not strong, you can prolong the duration of waiting. However, we believe, by, we believe that by the period of 10 minutes, your chalk will be strong and firm into the mold cavities. Okay, the first go and bring the other loads to put at the bottom of the, the mold for unmolding. So you can now prove that the chalk is very strong. So I put the tray holders in their place. Then I have to put here a tray for unmolding. However, I don't have a tray, 
So for me, I'm just going to unmold <laughs> on the hard surface or improvise something a little bit soft at the bottom to prevent my chalk from breaking. That's what I'm going to do. So I move the locker and tilt the machine upside down. Upside down, then I lock it back. So we are going to hold these together, then we bang. Then we shall also hold this and we bang the other side. Simple and very easy. However, we should be having an unmolding tray at the bottom to prevent a long distance from here to this bottom. Otherwise, our chalk may end up keeping on falling if at all you are just improvising like me. You have to use the right unmolding tray. These new machines, we provide them with a tray. This new model, they come with unmolding trays on them. So that is how simple, nice, and attractive chalk will come out using this IMM chalk machine. The cavities remain purely clean. Let us get for your closer shots on the cavities. You see how clean they are and how nice our chalk samples are there at the bottom. So the cavities remain purely, purely clean. The 800 cavities, mindless, but these are not cavities. The all these ones should be blocked with your first sample. So after blocking them with your first sample, don't unblock them. 800 cavities are the in-between cavities. Let us have a look at our created samples of chalk. So here we have our created samples. Very smooth, clean, and completely dust-free and non-toxic. Yeah. For more information, join Kesa Projects for training. Thank you. Have a good day. Now we can now say goodbye.